this is Tremites versicolor, or commonly known as the turkey tail. You see the pretty patterns on it. It's a polyporous species. And it's very, very useful for certain kinds of bioremediation and uh, it's known to be uh, quite a high powered medicinal fungus. So when I use the turkey tail I, I make either decoctions, infusions or tinctures out of this fungus and they seem to be very quite powerful uh, immune system boosters and there's lots of lots of scientific studies peer-reviewed scientific studies that have been undertaken on this fungus that show its uh, potential with where it's been used in studies in Japan for people who are unfortunately gone down the route of chemotherapy uh, and they take uh, an extract of the turkey tail alongside of the chemotherapy and it remediates the damage that chemotherapy, the acid, it's highly acidic chemo and it, this turkey tail seems to remediate the damage that the acid does to, on a cellular level. So you can check out these studies yourself if you've got time and the inclination. But very useful mushroom, very useful to know uh, what it looks like. There's, there's another species that looks very similar, but it's not uh, a polypore mushroom. If I find one, I'll, uh, I'll show you. And most people, like when, when I've pointed the, the turkey tail out to someone, if they see the other one, they'll say, oh, there's the, there's the turkey tail. It does look very, very similar. Uh, it, it isn't poisonous or anything, but uh, you won't get the medicinal benefits by using the other one, as far as I know. So, yeah, that's the Tramites versicolor. Very pretty mushroom indeed. see a good example of the turkey tail. Not the white underside, the polyporous underside and this is this other species of mushroom I was talking of earlier. You see how they look? It has similar look to the turkey tail but underneath You'll see there's no pores, it's just very smooth, a bit like leather, like wet leather. Uh, so once you're familiar with them, you can spot from a, a distance that these aren't turkey tails, but some people do mistake them when they're first, uh, they're first getting into uh, foraging, they'll, uh, they'll think, they, they think this is the turkey tail. Uh, so yeah, just something to, to note that I thought I'd show you in real time. Like I say, they, they do tend to grow on the same, in the same environment, on the same branches, the turkey tail and this one, which I'll try to find out what it's called, this one. You see there's lots of them here, a little turkey tail hiding there. See them all on the branch. So, yes. Just another uh, uh, an aid for IDing the circuit tail. Uh.